the volume of the lava has increased. Look at this. Ooh, wow. 30 cubic meter per second. The volume of lava is so much, the lava is so huge, the amount of it, that uh, I think the, the actual uh, lava tubes cannot take this anymore. They cannot handle all of that lava. Ooh, wow. And look at it, it's going on. Now it's receding. Okay, that's almost finished now. That is massive. You're looking directly into the crater at the level, a little bit lower than it, so the crater looks what, bigger than what it should be. Um, but it's amazing, colossal. Why this volcano in Iceland became topless? This is a mini lecture in the Igneous Geology, so I try to explain everything quickly in less than three minutes. Planet Earth, like uh, all the rocky planets, is differentiated by gravity. Denser material at the core and the less dense material at the uh, mantle and the crust. Mantle and the crust of the Earth are uh, silica rich. Silica is a silicium and oxygen in four. Uh, oxygen one one silicon they are arranged in a kind of like a prismatic arrangement like a pyramid we should call it pyramidal arrangement a single uh, silica is very low viscous material so it can flow easily when they join together they form a polymer like glue they become like glue a single chain and double chain and they uh, they are difficult to move so when we have a low silica and low water content, something like a shield volcano forms. They, they are very flat because the material, the lava, is very runny. And uh, it cannot support its own weight. So it has to go long distance before that it actually will be stopped. And uh, you don't see much like, uh, you know, high elevations unless it is really, really vastly wide, several hundred kilometers. And... When the high water and low silica happens, like the case in this volcano in Iceland, uh, we have eruptions. We don't have this kind of uh, uh, very fluid material. It can support some kind of form, but this form is not very stable. It will collapse eventually. When there is a very high viscous material and this high silica and high water, we have a practical explosion. And this material is very sticky, can hold on itself for huge elevations. In this case, in the Mount Davonvand in Iran, you can see that it has risen up to six kilometers. It is the height that this silica glue can hold the material together. So the magma is actually has fused together, forming a very solid material. The case was such a thing in the Iceland when it started. The composition changed over time. Uh, it was a small spatter cone, so you could have some explosions. It had rich water, it was rich in water, but silica content was very high, so it was running in the way. <laughs> but uh, eventually, this has to collapse because the material is low silica. It doesn't have to, that strong polymer gluey and uh, high viscosity uh, strength to hold the wall together. And that's the reason it collapses. It's not strong enough. Silica poor material are runny like saliva and silica rich material are sticky like bogey. So that's the difference. This is the best example I can think of.